What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're taking a deep dive into French toast. We'll be covering not one, but two different preparations of one of the best breakfast or brunch foods in the world. Now, let's get started. Everyone say hello to the star of the show. We have a beautiful loaf of challah bread here. The only acceptable substitution would be brioche. Take a serrated knife and cut the ends off of your bread. I like to slice them into one inch thick or two fingers thick slices. Just repeat that process until the entire loaf is sliced evenly. Much French toast you're making, of course. Looking good. Moving on to our custard. Go ahead and crack four eggs into your mixing bowl. Break out your whisk and beat those eggs like they stole something. Add in your heavy cream, followed by nutmeg and cinnamon. Some brown sugar. Mix that well to combine. Now guys, remember all of the specific ingredients and directions are in the description below. Adding in a little bit of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. And that'll do it for our custard. Once that's nice and mixed, it'll be time to give your bread a nice egg bath. You wanna soak your bread on each side for about 20 seconds or so, just to give it time to absorb all of that delicious custard. We're going for a nice crisp exterior of our French toast and a delicious fluffy interior. Strain off any excess and then place it on the side until everything is ready to cook. Repeat that process until all of your slices of bread are nicely submerged and coated in that custard. And then we're gonna top them with some cinnamon sugar. Just for good measure, make sure you coat them evenly. As if this wasn't sweet enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our skillet nice and warm. Add one to two tablespoons of butter. Don't do what I'm doing here. You might burn your fingers and I don't want any complaints in the comments. Lay your French toast away from you to avoid any splatter. And then cook them to a beautiful golden brown. Good camera work there, catching the steam. Looking good. You wanna cook these for about 90 seconds per side, depending on how hot your skillet is. You just want a nice golden brown like these two right here, looking beautiful. Remove them to a wire rack. We'll finish these in a 375 degree oven. So again, just to recap, 90 seconds per side and then pop them in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes until they're cooked through. And now it's time to plate. I'm using uh, berries here, so chop up some strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, whatever you got. Whatever your favorite fruit is. Going in with a nice mound of whipped cream right in the middle, because why the hell not? Garnish that mound with a beautiful mint leaf. Showing off now. Fellas, if you pull this off for wifey, I promise she'll thank you. Some warm syrup drizzle. And then we're gonna finish the plating up with a snowy session of powdered sugar. And that, my friends, is how you make a more traditional version of French toast. Little money shot for you. And then we'll be moving on to our second preparation, which is going to be a white chocolate bourbon sauce with some crushed cinnamon toast crunch. It is as delicious as, as it sounds, and it will definitely raise your blood sugar. So we're starting with two tablespoons of butter, about a half cup of white chocolate chips. If you're not a fan of white chocolate, I'm sorry. Uh, you can switch this out with regular chocolate or caramel as well. I've done it with both and it's still delicious. 
adding in our heavy cream. And you just want to bring this up to a simmer. Cook this on uh, medium low. A pinch of salt going in. Once the white chocolate chips begin to melt, we're going in with some ground nutmeg. Kind of like an eggnog vibe. Smelling delicious. Now we're going in with a shot of bourbon. Bring your heat up to about medium to medium high for about one to two minutes to cook off that bourbon. Stirring continuously to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And now we're plating up number two. Oh, gotta get a snack. There we go again with that mound of whipped cream. Some delicious white chocolate bourbon drizzle. That looks kind of like, uh, yeah, never mind. It's delicious, I promise. Those crushed cinnamon toast crunch flakes, some warm syrup, and yet another snow shower of powdered sugar. Mint leaves on the side this time. Damn, that's good. Let's give it a taste test. Do we get the nod of approval? There it is. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy the recipe. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, enable those notifications, and as always, thank you for your support.